Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here today to talk about all true, so let's just let's just get right into it. All true, all true, all true. I thought we were done with it. I thought it was out of business. Let me tell a quick story in case you don't know the whole story to catch you up, but what's to say? <laughs> All True is a lifestyle box. The whole premise of this lifestyle box was they worked with companies that were environmentally conscious or helped women in far-flung lands have jobs, or even here they worked with women-owned businesses. It was all about doing good, giving back, that kind of thing. Over the last year or two, they struggled. We've seen some of the brands slip a little bit from where they said they were going to go and they started having just crazy shipping problems. It was taking me, I think my last one took almost four months. It was like three and a half months for me to get, this is my spring box, spring, and here we are in August. My winter box, which would have been the one before this, took three, like three and a half months, as I recall, to get, which is funny, but we'll talk about that in a second. They went out of business. Nobody got any notification, just in the night, they were gone. Nobody got refunds. They left their vendors standing out in the rain with no money. There were horrible pictures being circulated of how they were handling what was left for the warehouse. They were just gone in the night. And this all happened in like mid-April. So a lot of people that had purchased from them started doing all the chargebacks on their credit cards. Some were more successful than others because annuals had paid perhaps more than the 90 days prior to when you would have had to have filed a charge back. They couldn't get their money back. It was just, is just, is just a mess. There's problems with PayPal. If you paid through PayPal, PayPal is not giving you your money back. It's a nightmare. I have an annual. This was the last of my annual box, but I also had some credits. We'll get to that in a minute. I was trying to think, I tried to play it through in my brain, the most succinct way to do this. But once you start talking about it, it's just all so unbelievable. It seems farcical how badly managed this was. The funny thing is, technically not funny, we did our customization right before they went out of business. So right there, mid-March, beginning of April. So this box took approximately four months to get to me. I mean, that's only about two weeks longer than my last one took. And they have been in business, out of business, reacquired by another company, and back in business. And the delay in the box was only a couple weeks over last seasons. That'll give you a hint of how bad it had gotten. So in mid-July, we got an email from Altru saying, hi, we are a new company. We have purchased Altru. We are going to be sending out your spring boxes. We are going to also do a summer box. You will not have customization, whether you're an annual or not. There will be no customization on the summer boxes. I think basically they're gonna use all the old stuff that was still in stock to fill summer boxes. If you want to cancel, if you, well, I have some credits. So just to see how this plays out, I let them use my credits to do another subscription. I do not recommend this unless you also have credits. I should have said that. Very first thing I should have said. I am not recommending this box. I am using this as a cautionary tale. They are going to have to show a whole lot before I would ever, I was barely recommending it before, before I would ever recommend it again, they are going to have to have a long history of doing well. It said they were going to ship and, and within, it must have been the beginning of July because it did take a few weeks, but in less than a month, I now have this box. I never got a box from them this quickly before. Here's my moral dilemma. I couldn't decide whether to show you guys this or not because I feel bad for the individuals who lost their money because they paid money for these boxes. You should absolutely get your money back. No company has the right to take your money and not give you product. I feel worse for the vendors because all of the vendors, because they basically filed bankruptcy. It was this whole other thing, not technically called bankruptcy, but since they technically filed bankruptcy, all of their vendors did not get paid. There have been a lot of like Facebook pages and all of that devoted to trying to help send people over, especially people who were subscribed to Altru, to buy directly from these vendors to try and keep them in business. So I couldn't decide whether to show this or not because the new company has the product that the vendors had sold the original Altru, but then they never got paid. So they sent all of their merch 
to All True. They didn't get paid. This new company has come in, purchased All True, and they're getting to use the same vendor merch, but not having to pay off the All True debts. And that is so wrong. So wrong. It's probably going to put some of these small companies out of business. It's horrible. So I really struggled with whether I should even represent this and show you guys, but here's where I landed and why. Obviously, I decided to show it because maybe you'll see a vendor in here or I'll show you a product that will spark you to go over and check out that vendor's page. Maybe we can swing some business toward the vendor. So I don't even remember what's in here, but I hope that if there's something in here that you like, you will consider going over and checking out some of the vendors because they're struggling. Some of them had hundreds of thousands of dollars in March that they just aren't getting paid for. And it was bad enough when All True, the original All True, filed bankruptcy and they got stuck. That was bad. What is worse is that a new company has come in and is able to use the merchandise that has not been paid for in their boxes. I, there is something wrong when that is legal. That just, it's just wrong. And I have also seen, because there's been so much talk on Facebook, especially about it, that's where I'm seeing the most traffic. Some of the vendors have said, no, we are glad they're sending them out to people. We are happier, since we are not getting paid, that at least people are getting our products and maybe they'll try it and get to like it than it just sitting in a warehouse. So that's why I've decided to show this. That is the basic all true story. The only other thing is there seems to be some question because isn't there always a question as to whether the people who now own slash are running all true, if they have any ties with the original people that went out of business. There seems to be some evidence that perhaps they do. I'm going to continue to follow this to see where it goes, but that's where we are. There was all true. They weren't great. I did like a lot of the products that I got. I liked what they stood for. Their shipping was horrific. You can watch all of my old videos and I, because I always said things like, unless you have the patience of Job, do not order this box because it would take, easily, it could take three months to get to you each season. You were getting that season, the next season. It was absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see because I have the credit. I went ahead and let it ride. We'll see how they do. For today, I'm going to show you my all true spring box. It's a very pretty box and they've gone to that cardboard. I think that's supposed to be better for the environment because it's that real porous kind. It's, it's a pretty box. I don't, I, <laughs> I just feel so the struggle is real because I'm torn between being happy that I've received it and just feeling so absolutely horrible for the vendors. And also wanting to say to you guys every 37 seconds, I'm not recommending this box. I do not recommend that after seeing this, you go to my link and purchase it. That's not my recommendation. I would absolutely do the opposite of that. I would recommend that you wait it out. I, You can decide how long you're comfortable if it's something that you wanna jump back into. You can decide how many seasons you wanna see go by before you decide to give them any of your money. If it were me and I didn't have credit, I can't imagine it would be any less than a year for me. I just, I just can't imagine I would give them any of my money. That's what the inside looks like. It's very pretty. We have our nice little booklet on top. I think it will tell us a little bit about the products that we have inside. Again, this is my spring box, although it's nearly fall and we're doing all of our other fall boxes. And like I said, the funny thing is, this is only a couple of weeks behind how long it took for me to get my last box. And they didn't even go out of business in between that one. <laughs> Once I took that cardboard off top, which I'm not sure what it was there for, that is what it looks like on the inside. I feel like this is what I picked. So they did manage to put together a box of the items that I picked. So let's talk about these brands. If it's a brand you feel comfortable going out and supporting, I'm sure they could use your business. So as an annual, I got to make all of the choices with this box. If you are a seasonal, you didn't used to have any choices. And then a season or two prior to this, they let you choose one thing. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure if they let you choose anything in this one or not. It doesn't feel incredibly relevant. So basically, I don't think there's any choice if you're not an annual and even with that like i said they're going to ship out summer boxes but they're not giving anybody any choice you get what you get and you like it which is kind of how some subscription boxes used to be so i am not completely against that except that people who pay for annual subscriptions purchased it 
thinking they were going to have that choice. But I suspect at this point, most of them are just pretty happy to be getting a box. Okay, reaching right in, we could see these little scrunchies on top. I chose these because I actually liked the prints on them. These are from Ashiana, London. And it says, it's a female owned and managed business. And we have made these scrunchies in a female owned factory with the highest ethical standards. Much love and care has gone into the design of this product. And we hope you receive as much pleasure wearing the piece as we have had creating it for you. The Leopard is 60% Modal, 40% Cupro yarn, and the Gingham is 100% cotton. So this is what they look like. We have the cute little Leopard one. It's got nice tight pull on it. I mean, it's, it's, it, oh, oh, that was close. It gets small. So it's got, I, that's great for people with thin hair like me, but it's got some nice pull on it. This is the one that really caught my eye. And it's just a pretty gingham I had thought for summer. <laughs> it would be kind of pretty. And I just mostly wear scrunchies around the house to pull up my hair in the evening just to keep it off my neck, that kind of thing. It's coming across a little more yellow there than it is here in real life. It's very beige. It's a nice, cool beige wearing the pink that might not be helping so what I've done is I've jumped to out of order this was actually in the sixth choice category this had a $14 value and again the brand is Ashiana London I'll put it here so you can see how I'm saying it all right let me go ahead and go back to the beginning I'm gonna dig down to the bottom so we can do these in orders this was my first choice, and it is a blanket and it feels really nice it feels it's 100% cotton as I recall yes 100% triple cotton gauze made in India it is our crinkle cotton throw was hand woven and finished in India by skilled artisans using three soft layers of cotton gauze the result is a beautifully textured lightweight textile this throw works effortlessly on a bedspread or draped over the sofa and I chose it and I did I chose it in blue because at the time I was like you know what I think I want to start introducing more cool tones into my house and I thought just thrown across the foot of my bed it would bring in a nice cool tone I thought I'd like it it feels really nice and they said it had a $78 value it's sustainably employed over 120 artisans made with low impact azo free dyes in a facility focused on water recycling so I mean that's that's why a lot of us came to All True. That's the kind of thing that drew us to All True was the companies that they worked with and the good that they did. So when I open it up, you can tell, I don't know if you can tell actually. Can you see my hand through it? It's very thin, but I knew that when I purchased it. So it's just a very thin, gauzy, light fabric. And I just thought it would be so nice to just drape across the foot of my bed in the summer. Well, maybe in the winter too, but I was thinking the nice gauzy material for summer. When All True first went out of business, I really struggled with what to do because I felt like I wanted to talk about it. And on the other hand, I was like, you know, I have done everything I can with my channel to stay as far from drama as I could. And I knew that there were so many hundreds of people out there talking about it, that it was everywhere. And if I had felt like I was the only one telling people, I would have felt the obligation. But since everybody was talking about it, this is also 60 by 72, by the way. So it's just a perfect throw size. Choice number two, I chose the Cuccio Calm Kit. We've seen this brand in other boxes and it had a $68 value and it says more calm vibes, sign us up. The Calm Kit from Cuccio, Somatology, includes two uniquely relaxing goodies. Made with peppermint and sage essential oils, use the Mediterranean mist to prepare your space before a moment of silence or spritz on your pillow to encourage a relaxed, sleepy time ease in both body and mind. Rich for the cooling spot therapy, Temple Rub. When you're feeling tense, the peppermint and green tea will provide an instant release. And Cuccio is woman-founded, cruelty-free, and vegan. Oh, and I don't know that I said it. I'm going to go back because it was kind of the whole point. Simbla. This is from Simbla, is the brand of this. Just, I just want to be sure and let everybody know. I will try to link as many of the companies below as I can. So I have just taken this out of its overwrap and the waft of peppermint that has hit me already is incredible. This definitely sounds like it's going to be cooling. So this is the cooling mist that will just, it, yeah, it already smells cooling. We can spray that in our room or on our pillow. And this is the cooling spot therapy. And this is the one that we put on ourselves. and it is peppermint and green tea. I could use a little Zen. This, this all true thing, I just, 
so frustrating. Okay, choice three. This is where I chose kind of differently. And this was actually one of the things that I was kind of sad that I wasn't gonna get. And it's To The Market Reusable Gift Wrapping Cloths. And To The Market is the brand. We have seen them in other boxes, but they have been around. And I'm looking at the back and it says they are at tothemarket.com or on Insta, it's at Let's Go TTM. So I guess To The Market TTM. So these are wraps. I know, right? That explains it so well. Let me read it to you. Gift wrap that steals the show and truly is a gift in itself. This set of three reusable, sustainable made gift wrapping cloths helps reduce single use, often not recyclable, wrapping paper. Each cloth is made with a different, thoughtfully sourced material. The largest made with recycled polyester, the middle with organic cotton, and the smallest with a blend of the two. Additional uses include a scarf, a tablecloth, a lunch bag. The options are limitless. It is a certified B Corps and artisan made. When we spoiled these originally in 1842 for the box that was coming out, some people were hilarious about it. They're like, so they want me to pick scraps of fabric. <laughs> and I get that feeling, I truly do. But there was just something about it here. Let me show you the picture that they put in here. It says it has a $46 value, which I do kind of think is a little too much. But that is what we got and see how they've made pretty gifts out of it. And when I saw those pictures, I was like, I want to try and tie it like that and tuck a little flower in it. And then that person could reuse it. I mean, I love the theory of it. The question is, will I be able to do it and make it look like that? Or, <laughs> or will it look like, I don't know, I pulled a pillowcase off my bed and shoved your present in it. I, I'm just not sure yet. So we have, this is the large one. And it's just this kind of, it's a cross between a royal and a navy blue. Then we have this nice minty green. This one feels just like 100% cotton. And then this one is definitely a poly. And it's got the little bit of pinstripe in it. I don't know if that's showing, but. So you just, in theory, open it up. It's kind of a which, whip, whip stitched edge. Whip. I did this once before in a video not too, too long ago. In theory, you will open it up. You will take your gift. Mm. I'll show you how far a muck this is going to be. I'm kind of doing it. I pulled up from each corner opposite. <laughs> I'm going to be good at this. Oh my goodness. Actually, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Well, so look, that's what I did just here with no effort on the fly. So that's the little cuccio that's in it. And I just pulled the opposite corners up and have two of those. And in theory, I could take some kind of flower and slide it in here and it would cover the knot a little bit. I mean, it, it basically does what I thought it was gonna do. And I'm basically as good at it as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm hoping that I can get online on the YouTubes and find somebody who is doing this and shows you different shapes and sizes and the best way to accomplish this and have it look rather nice. But I, I like the idea of this. Now, if you like the idea of this too, what they say this had, a $46 value. I would highly encourage you to try and find your own scrap material and do that. The only thing is the edges could start fraying and this does have, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, there you go. Just a little bit of a whip stitch. So I really kind of liked the idea of this. So that was the smallest one. There is a medium and then there is the bigger one. Do they tell us the sizing? Yes. 35 inches, 27 and a half inches, and 19.7 inches. So they must all be perfectly square. So the one I just used for that cuccio was the small one at 19.7 inches. So the bigger one is darn near twice that size. So you could do a much bigger gift in it. I, let me know below. Do you think that's absolutely insane? Would you think I had lost my mind if I gave you <laughs> a gift wrapped in this? Please let me know. Although it'll just give my family something to talk about at a party like, hey, Kathy's cutting up sheets now and wrapping her gifts in it. Everybody needs a crazy auntie, right? Next is choice four. And I chose the lip treatment kit from Three Ships. And you know, I should have the best lips in town. I have so many of these treatment kits, but the options were this, a set of silicone stretch lids, which I've shown you guys. I love them, but I have them and I haven't had any tear or anything. Oh, I hate it, jinxed myself like that. And then also some sleep on it aloe infused socks, which I also have a pair of those. They say you should replace them though. So at this point I might could use them, but <laughs> when I placed this order nearly half a year ago, I did not need them. They are pretty heavy glass. It is vanilla and oh, buttercream. So the exfoliator is vanilla and the hydrating lip balm is buttercream. 
that is what they look like. And like I said, they're glass. So they are very pretty. It says they have a $30 value with winter in your rear view. <laughs> or coming up at you. Your lips deserve some love. This duo delivers with a two-pronged approach. Start with the vanilla lip exfoliator to slough off dead skin. Then use the buttercream hydrating lip mask to rejuvenate luscious hydrated lips. Here you come. I'm going to go ahead and take the lids off these. Vanilla and buttercream, I'm using them. Ooh, that is the exfoliator. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it smells exactly like you would anticipate a vanilla thing smelling although it has a little bit of a brown butter scent to it I like that a lot and then this will be the mask it has very very little scent compared to the exfoliator I mean it might be just got that on my nose it might be more if I hadn't just been in the other vanilla maybe this would have popped a little more but the vanilla exfoliator has way more scent to it I'm kind of glad about that because mostly I do this at night so I wouldn't want to go to bed with a huge vanilla taste to me and last but not least is customization five only because I started with customization six which was the scrunchies in customization five I chose the sandbar nomad when we weren't getting this, I was so sad because I had never tried this brand before. I think I have since gotten it and liked it in another box. But when we take it out, that is what it looks like. The paperwork says it has a $26 value. It is chosen because it was vegan and cruelty free. And it says a versatile palette of bold wine and brown hues with matte shimmer and satin shades. This set has a little something for every look from soft glam to bold shimmer. With colors inspired by nature's own tones, desert blush, rose smoke, crushed pearl, Sandbar creates high quality cruelty free products that let you experiment and explore your own look. That's very pretty. What's the mat? I have to tell you, none of these look like a mat to me. I would go to the mattresses, none of these are a mat. Can you guys tell the shimmer in all those? The closest would be this dark brown one down here. I will keep doing that though, so you can see it's got a shimmer to it. It's that the same matte, and wait, hold on. Yes, matte, shimmer, and satin. I don't see any matte. It's a really pretty brown. No, it's, no, I wouldn't call that a matte. Can you see the shimmer in that? It's just subtle. It wouldn't stop me from using it in the corner of my eye as my pop, but it's pretty. Ooh, that's a gorgeous color. Ooh. See this one? That's this one. So pretty. These are really pretty colors. All right, so that's my all true box. This is Sandbar, right? Yes, Sandbar is the brand. Before I do my slight recap, here's the thing. I have already seen what's going to be in my summer box. I got in to see if this had really shipped, and it had, and they already had what they had selected for me in the summer box, and some of the products are actually in this book, so I would say they are definitely, slide that over there and keep that for when I need that with the next box. So I'd say they are definitely using old stock to get out the summer boxes as quickly as possible, play catch up, and use what they have for free. I would like to put a better spin on it, but at this point, I can't. I do not, do not recommend this box. It is $59.95. That is a pricey box. If you do annual, it takes $5 off, but I would never, never commit to, I wouldn't give them a year's worth of money. Zero percent chance. Zero percent chance. What I would do is recommend the brands that are in the box so that we can help maybe defray some of what they lost. So we have the Sandbar brand is the eyeshadow. The Three Ships brand is this lip treatment that smells fantastic. The Cuccio brand is this calming set. To the Market is the reusable gift wrapping. You know what, with, the, with this and this Simbla, I will try and let you know here individually I will try and let you know if these are all true brands. You know, just like with FabFitFun, how they have Chic and Tonic or Ish. Those were in-house brands. I'll make sure these aren't, I'll make sure if I can that these aren't in-house brands. But if not, Simbla and To The Market. And then I also have these cute scrunchies from Ashiana London. Let me do that in case, but I will put it below in case that doesn't show well. And that is what I received for my spring, spring, 
all true box. Like I said, the funny irony in all of this is I only got this, a it only took a couple weeks longer than my winter box did. Well, that's, <laughs> you get the picture. Okay. Again, I do not recommend this box. I just wanted to let you guys know where it stood right now, what they've done. They are now back in business. They are using the vendor stock from what Altru got and didn't have to pay for. So I encourage you to go out and support some of those brands. I will link as many as I can below. Yeah, so I'll have a summer box because I was lucky enough to have some credit. So I just went ahead and let it roll for another annual and then we can reassess at that point. And again, not to belabor it, I am not encouraging you to purchase this box. I, if you were my friend, I would say to you, hey, just write it out. Unless there's something like, well, in summer, you don't even have any choice. Unless when fall comes out, there is one thing that you want in it and everything has gone well with summer and you think it's worth the risk, maybe to buy a seasonal. But I would highly discourage any of my friends from getting it for a few months, maybe a couple seasons at least. Okay. I think I've said that enough. I'll probably write it down here and in the description and in my comments. You guys are my friends and I don't want you buying things that I don't want you to lose your money. I don't want you to lose your money. All right. I think we've covered it. If I missed anything, you have any other questions, let me know down below. If it's something that I know, I will absolutely share it with you. There's very little to know. They just left. They just they were selling the box. Oh, that's the worst part. Okay, maybe I'm not done. <laughs> Rant back on. The worst part was on top of everything else they did to the vendors, to taking people's subscription money and everything else, they had not a week or two before they went out of business, sent out this huge email about for $100, mind you, $100. So you had to be an annual. So you'd already spent $220. For $100, I think I'm telling this story right you could have this other thing you got oh my gosh i'm not even gonna remember the story to tell i think you got like an extra product in your box oh what was it i forget honestly i put it out of my brain so hard when all this went down but the takeaway is they were up selling the box when i feel confident they were darn sure they were going out of business trying to get a few more hundreds from as many people as they could Again, I'm showing it for the vendors who took a bath. I encourage you to check out the vendors. I almost always love the vendors. The only time that I've ever had any problems or ever heard of mostly have been when All True has gotten another brand to allow All True to make a product and put their name on it. There was a tea kettle incident. Oh, the towels and the robes. Anyway. Have a great day, guys. I hope this explained any and or all of it for you. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't buy the box. Go ahead and check out the brands. Don't buy the box. Have a great day. Don't buy the box. Yeah, I think we've covered it. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. This is as close to a drama video as I get and I back away. We'll probably do it again one more time when the summer box comes. Okay, we'll probably do it every time I get an all true, but you know what I mean. Have a great evening, guys. <laughs> Bye.